Well, hello there. Welcome to Guitar Friends. Take it away. The wow. ultimate in true bypass transparent tone. So transparent. <laughs> those amps, those new profiles of ours are so transparent. It sounds yep. like there's no amp at all. Nothing got in the way. Incredible. Yeah. Just I'm, pure non-tube tone. You can really hear the tone of the guitar itself. <laughs> non-tube. <laughs> Non-tubes. Uh, ooh. Uh, wow. Guitar Friends is episode uh, 14, 13, 14, 13 or 14. Somewhere in there. And uh, my, my, how far we've come. My, I mean, my. can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Can you even believe it? Uh, dude, wow. it's end of the year. And, um, yeah, 2023. 2023 coming to an end. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, for sure. It's okay. Is it? It is. Okay. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I was worried, but. Joe Pint's the president. We're all good, man. <laughs> yeah, well, what um, else could. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> Inflation's great. It's great. It's all great. <laughs> <Yeah>. So. <laughs> Go on. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll tell you something. Speaking of uh, inflation, um, I've lost a couple pounds. No, I'm just kidding. Um, speaking of inflation, <laughs> guitars are insanely expensive. Suze, that guitar you're holding, do mm -hmm. you know what the new a price for a brand new JM model like that is? Not, not a limited edition. Not not a limited edition. Not a, just not a standard a JM neck, Pro. Just standard what that is. Let's what say $26.99. Suze, come on. It's not twenty twenty. I thought they used to be twenty one ninety nine. They were. Stop it. Are they three thousand? Thirty two ninety nine. No, you are kidding me. Stop. Go check. Go oh, check. Oh my god. You don't gosh. believe me? Because I'm on reverb every night. I look at Surge wow. every night. All of them have that's... jumped up to thirty two ninety nine in the past month. That's oh, the that's new recent. that's okay. the new map price of a standard Sur. And now every special colored Sur, which used to cost twenty nine ninety nine or thirty one ninety nine. Thirty five. Thirty nine ninety nine. Four, yeah. Stop. There's all sorts of five K sirs out there 4, right now. 000? Wow. This is it. This is it. We built back better. Okay. Enough <laughs> with the political stuff. Enough. Dude. Enough of it. Dude. Um, oh my gosh. I don't even know what I think. Races. It's just. It's just for the punchlines. Um, I do know what I think. Yeah. So, we speaking of expensive guitars, we have a million up there behind us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, look at that. The, who who hung did all those? You, did you get your ask? Please ask for assistance signs yet. They're on their way. Oh, nice. They're on their way. Uh, they're delayed apparently. Like my profile player. Ooh. Ooh. A real what tragedy. A, what a That's tragedy. rough. Now by the time this is released, I probably have it, and I've probably made some videos on it. And That's, now you're happy. Hopefully. And now I'm good. But oh, come on. Mm -hmm. That was painful. Uh, so maybe people have seen in the last couple episodes of this podcast that that back wall has changed. Mm -hmm. It used to be empty and there used to be racks of guitars. Mm -hmm. Now look. Yes. Mm -hmm. And They're now there's hung lots. by Mr. John too over here. Yes. Incredible but I didn't job. do all the work, but I did I, a lot of it. And I didn't do most of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that leaves a lion's share back we did it. You. We did it together. But yeah. We did it together it and quickly I realized John was doing it a lot faster than I was. <laughs> yeah. And so I felt it was best to just like... Just stand back. Let him do and it. And let, let it happen. It does sure. look really nice, though. It looks great. We're, I want to hang more. It's I can't wait to store. get... Are, we get, are, we, are you still going to get uh, like lights to get, light it yeah, up? Yeah. So the plan is, in January, uh, I've been looking at some mounts to hang every light that's on the floor. So like the two big lights right there, mm. the lights that would be used for this podcast. So like some lights right here, mm. those panels would all be hung. Mm -hmm. And then I'll run power up. They'll all just be plugged in. And then I'll be able to just maybe nice. turn, you mm -hmm. know, turn on the power supply and boom, we've got lights here that are pointed this direction, pointed yeah. at me. And then we've got lights for over there. And so then that great. takes everything off the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pro status, pro status. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? What are we even doing? What are we even doing? Hmm. Um, and then, uh, and part of that is only possible because um, by the time this airs, the new Tone Junkie Vintage site will have been launched. Ooh. And so there's lots of stuff for sale. I can't wait to do that. And so people can buy the stuff so that there's more room in here. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I've figured out, I'm good at some things. One of them that I'm not good at is getting rid of gear. Mm -hmm. I like to mm -hmm. just 
sit it down and leave it forever. Just accumulate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I there's enjoy- no there's no shot of that wall or that area right there, but I'm looking at is it twenty five fender amps? Sure. At least. Yeah, and a train wreck. Train wreck thrown in, bad cat. There's and a, a crate. There's a crate. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you know they've accumulated. For that's for sale for sure. There's a Marshall Goodness. on the floor right there. There's a Marshall PA. Oh, yeah. Huh. There's a head rush unit. Yeah, there's a head rush back there. Anyway, Pedals, there's a lot to sell. Yeah. And a lot of what I've been looking at lately on Reverb and eBay is vintage memorabilia. Ooh. Mm, like you see that sign, that Fender sign? I do. That mm. that should be hung prominently somewhere. It should. It, it looks should nice. Be right above that wall after I f- make it look nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know... Um, it's going to look more and more like a guitar store in here mm-hmm. as time goes on. Mm-hmm. I'm even looking at some cases, Ooh. some glass cases, like a tall sort of case so we can put pedals in it. Oh, like, would you that. like one of these pedals? Just open it up and grab a pedal. Yeah, it's available. You also talked about like getting a a frame with a guitar hanger in the mm-hmm. middle. I, I'm hoping it goes right there next to you. Mm, so great. I want to get of artwork. maybe two frames and two double necks. Ugh. I know you have two double necks now. Did we talk about that yet? No, no. <laughs> it's the saga of the Indian Quick double story neck. about that. So does I've, the case smell like like an Indian rock star? Like. Um, <laughs> It smells like how that like would, you would imagine and that. And yeah. I was going to say so, a cab. Yeah, like a cab. Yeah. It's like, like a it's, it's like a little bit of butter chicken and sex appeal just sort of mixed together. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm You're saying? You're not wrong, though. <laughs> it, it really like. is. It's yeah. pungent. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, um, so the, the deal was I bought this double neck, obviously, and this double neck is, um, it's actually a Greco. And, um, Someone put Gibson on the headstock. So I basically can't sell it now. I probably should not have been able to buy it. You're not supposed to even sell things that have been rebranded. Mm. They could be you know, viewed as counterfeit. That was to, on Reverb, right? Yeah, it was on okay. Reverb. And the, when they sold it, it said Greco, mm. and it had the name blocked out. And I wanted a Greco. And then oh. I noticed it said, some, it said, logo has been replaced with Gibson. Mm. And so to not get it taken down as a uh, fake, mm. you know, uh, they couldn't show that it was Gibson. Mm. Um, I, I would have been happy with this being a Greco and I am happy with it being a Greco. It says Gibson on the headstock. Know that someone really took the time to go put it in, but these are awesome guitars. It really looks. Yeah. Like it, it's a good, yeah, it is. It's a good fake yeah. on closer inspection. You see kind of how they did it, but, mm. um, but this is a, this is, this guitar has exceeded every it, expectation I've had. I would say it's one of the best buys I've ever had on Reverb. I got this guitar after they accepted the offer for two thousand dollars. If for the for the four people who are on here on Reverb looking at double necks regularly, they know what <laughs> a great a deal that people. is. <laughs> four, four. <laughs> for, you know, I know that's one. pretty generous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not, and, and, and this thing sounds good. It is good. It's great. It stays in tune. I literally put some lubrication on the nut. I didn't even restring it. And I it's think. Like, Mm, I great. think for what that guitar is, it's not it's not for everyone, but for what it is, it's really really excellent. I don't think there's anything, there's no negative about that guitar. Mm, I, I agree with you. Yeah, it's great. So, in my travels, uh, this guitar came in, and I was looking on Reverb at the stuff I normally look for, and there was another. The master of the apprentice. You know, what am I looking at here? There were two. <laughs> he got it. Um, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Any reference to the Phantom Menace, I'm a, I'm a fan of. Did you huh? get Go it? Or I, no? were, I did, but it wasn't, I didn't have a laugh response. Okay. I <laughs> well, I laugh at everything, so. <laughs> and so. That's a good quality. And, yeah. and, and so I looked at it and I thought, wow, this is a good deal. I think it might have been twenty five, might have been two thousand. I don't remember. It was a good price, and I was like, hmm. "Whoa, another on the, in, on the Indian one on the reverb, yeah, on reverb." And okay. I was like, "Whoa, another one!" And I'm like, "I've never even seen two listed at this price." But the market is soft right now. Speaking of inflation, hmm. the guitar market is soft. The used market is soft. The new market prices are high. On this, on this stuff, prices are low. I'm picking hmm. up stuff 
for cheap right now. Hmm. I just paid under $3,000 for a 65 Vox Cambridge all tube. They only made that amp two years for this vintage Vox in a tube configuration. Is that the one that's upstairs still that in would, the box? Yeah. Hmm. And that would have been four grand in 2021. And I know because I looked for those amps. Hmm. They're hard to find. Mm -hmm. And and I and I think I got that to my door for 26. Wow. Dang. So can't wait to hear those profiles. Stuff's down, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to sell some stuff and stuff's down. But here's the thing. A lot of my stuff I bought years ago, mm -hmm. you know, um, and stuff like the Purple Plexi. If I sold that 68 Purple Plexi, I could double my money easily. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm seeing people list those things. How for, long did you, have, did you uh, 2019 have or 2020 I bought it. 2020 I bought it. Oh, four years. Three years. And uh, it's, you know, there's been a lot of price changes since then. They don't make more old mm -hmm. Marshalls. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought that thing for 16. I think I could sell it for, I think I could get 40 for it. Dang, really? Yeah. That's insane. That's a good deal. I'm never selling it. They'll bury me in the cabinet. Wow. In Remove purple. the speakers. Yeah. Fold me up. <laughs> Is he in purple? That's what yeah. you're saying? Okay. So, well, uh, when the second purple plexi arrived, it solidifies it. I was like, do you no purple mohawk this time? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the second true. one, we'll get into it. We got a second purple plexi. Yeah. <laughs> but the second double neck showed up. And, well, okay, I saw it on Reverb mm -hmm. and shipping from India. Oh, now, yeah. How much was that? Well, I, it said lot? free shipping. Ooh. So I I said the guy an offer, mm -hmm. 1500 bucks. Because I thought to myself, look, if I can get this for $1,500, i will take it. But mm. I don't really want a new one. I don't want another one of these. But this mm. is what I'm willing to pay. And I kind of had a suspicion because it said India, and I don't see a lot of gear from for sale from India. People would think it was maybe scam or, or you know, like mm -hmm. like not legit or like it's a bait and switch, you know. You know, India, we're right next door to China. And what do they call the fake stuff? Chipsons, right? Mm. So it's like, where are we get? You know what I mean? So uh, I messaged the guy. We have some messages back and forth. And I, I become pretty sure he's just a real dude. Mm. And we go back and forth, and I just say, look, man, this, it says free shipping. I just want you to know I'm not willing to pay any more. This is my top dollar price. Um, the guitar doesn't have original pickups. Had, like, Seymour Duncans put in and stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little, a little like, the, the finish wasn't as nice. There was some damage on the finish. And he says, okay, you know, I take the, I'll take the offer. And uh, so he took it, and I thought maybe he was going to send me, you know, a pound of pennies or something, you know. <laughs> some rupees you know a pillow pillowcase of rupees and uh uh it showed up the guitar showed up it was real and it reeked and it's still it, it my wife got so upset what does that smell the box i had to put the box even i unboxed it took the guitar out there was like oil on the guitar like you know and and even then i put the box upstairs and she was like what's that smell i was like yeah, i'm sorry it's the box work. i mean it went through all the plastic and material all and right. it was just it just, it mm. smells like some sort of, like, just, it's like a cologne oil type mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like a mixture of that and like maybe something that someone was smoking, but mm. not marijuana, something more exotic. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. I do. I've been to India and yeah. when you get out of the plane, yeah. it smells like that. Yes. It's just, there's something in the yeah. air. Not just humidity. It's humid some, for sure. Some sort of, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And so, um... Sounds Look, sounds really nice. Yeah. Did you let it like sit outside the guitar, like just kind of breathe air? It and... smelled up the whole room. I put it back in the case. I haven't taken it, it might, out. It might it be good to air it out. Yeah, All get right, some sunshine on that thing. <laughs> also, it was frozen when it showed up, uh, like frozen. We were having those days in the twenties, and it was yeah. just frozen. Yeah. On the so truck. I just wanted to see it was real. Then I wanted to put it back in the case <clears throat> yeah. to let it adjust. Yeah. So now it's probably adjusted. Maybe for Christmas, I'll let it sit outside. Um, mm. I got to be honest, though. I don't think the smell's ever leaving. Interesting. <laughs> You know what I mean? I was I gonna offer to like clean it up for you, but maybe I don't want it in my no. house because in your house for months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't your 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 wife will get will notice and get upset. Mm. Your dog will notice too. Oh, man. And <laughs> yeah, as soon as you come in the door, it's true. Yeah, the, they're they're gonna both smell it because it's yeah. Alyssa smelled it right away. My wife, she smelled it like mm -hmm. I just put that box up and she's like, "What is that?" And I'm like, "Gosh, how do you do that?" Um, and uh, but. Maybe if you want to come clean it up here, we can do it in the backyard. I could do we can it. Get a pr pressure sprayer. And just, uh, <laughs> pressure washer. <laughs> pressure washer. <laughs> so, I'm not opposed to it. It might hurt. That's it. good YouTube content. Yeah. I mean, part of me thinks, yeah, maybe we just. I mean, I bought Lambertones to put in this because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wanted to try them out. 
but I like these pickups a lot. Mm-hmm. I know we should probably put it in the other one. But then I was thinking, if I like it, then I'm going to go John. Can you take these pickups out and put it back in here? So I'm almost thinking, let's just have you put them in here, mm. and then we'll swap it back if if we don't like it or we like part of it. We haven't even heard that. I, I the like car. these pickups a lot. These ones. Yeah. I don't love these, but they're a thing. Mm. You know, they're a thing. I mean, yeah. and they're good, but um, mm-hmm. you know. The only thing about that guitar and replacing the pickups in it is it has all of those switches. You probably can't see on the camera. There's like two switches on the top of each of those pickups. Yes. And I figured out why. Remember how we were saying sometimes the signal seems cut when you go mm-hmm. into both? It's only when one goes out of phase. It's because now it's picking up frequencies and canceling them. Mm-hmm. So, But when I put them both in phase, the volume stays the same. It's only when I put both guitars uh, on and one of my pickups is out of phase. Yeah. That guitar, the there's so sound. many switches and knobs. There's a 40% chance it's not going to sound like you want it to. <laughs> there's also a 40% chance you're going to play it wrong. Yeah, wrong neck. Wrong. Yeah, you're going to be on the wrong neck. It's we, a, that's not something you out. just like, you know, unplanned mm-hmm. pick yeah. up and start playing. I, I want to point out, we haven't even heard the other double neck. Hasn't even been plugged in, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah, so, it doesn't even it have strings on one of the. Necks. Yeah, the twelve string has no neck. <laughs> He's I like, mean, you the 12, do it. It has no strings. Fifteen hundred bucks. You do it. <laughs> yeah. He sent new strings though, and a, oh. uh, and oh. a really nice. Well, take it back. Yeah, there's strings in there, and a really nice uh, strap, thick and hmm. nice. That might be part of part of the Does smell that problem. Smell? I, I bet that's w- oh, what yes. really. Yes. You should mm-hmm. throw that, that away. Whole case. You should throw that. It's all over. The first thing you do. It's all over. Um, it is what it is. I can't say it doesn't have mojo. It does, you know. Hmm. It also <laughs> has like gold. Um, yeah, he put brass frets on. Brass frets. Gold. They tried to like. He kind of tried to replace the gold, like have gold hardware on this yeah. one, but he didn't replace some of the more permanent parts with gold. I bet it was like on the to do list. Mm-hmm. Ah. But um, are the but, tuning are the tuners gold? No, they're the original tuners too. These uh-huh. ha- this has a, a locking tuners, which is even better. I mm-hmm. think. So I think I think I think I'm playing the better one right now. For sure. Yeah. But um but this we're gonna call uh you know, I mean right now I'm calling it the Indian double neck. Uh I like it. Yeah. So all these guitars on the wall. All these guitars on the wall, man. We got so many guitars, uh, not even including the ones that you guys are holding. Suze, is that your number one? Yeah, this would be my number one. Yeah. The JM Pro. John, would that be your number one? <laughs> This is my number one squire. <laughs> there you go. Is it even? You don't own any better squires than that one. Actually, I do own a squire that I like more than this one. What is that? You know the teleca- the Cabernita? Oh, yeah. People oh. have commented on the channel before. We did a demo with it years ago. That's gone now, though, right? No, I have it. Can you bring that over? Yeah. I want to play that again. It's good. It's got a Bigsby, right? No. 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 I had put a Bigsby on it, and I didn't like it as much. Oh, uh, So yeah. now... I put the original uh, bridge back on, uh-huh. and now it just has holes on it. That's so a special yeah. request to bring that thing over. All right. Yeah. All right. That's I'll a do good, that. Yeah. I it's, remember liking that a lot. Yeah. We got comments. They're like, what is that guitar? It was it's in like, the Ventress demo. And yeah. Everyone was yeah. It was that. literally a $240 Guitar Center purchase. Yeah. I remember <laughs> saying to you, if I could buy one of these and it would be this good, I would buy one. But right. I know it won't be. You know yeah. it won't be. No, yeah, it works. won't be. I'll just be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. We've all tried that before. Well, I, uh, people haven't seen this one since we... Upgraded that's it. right. So that's oh, the forty dollars strat. Upgrade. Yeah, this is the forty dollars strat. That's now a four hundred dollars strat. It got ten x the price with new pickups. <laughs> with new pickups, that well, sound that do sound incredible. I must say, they're uh, really really. Cool. We got to do a video on that. We yeah. also have the twelve string video we've been working on. We're mm-hmm. back backlogged. The intro to the podcast is the twelve string. I hope they enjoyed it. Bow, 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 bow. It's my, so good. My base review. My base. Uh, Your debut. Debut. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. A good one. So 20 guitars we hung up there and they cover a lot of genres, a lot of styles. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've played all these guitars. We have opinions about all these guitars. Mm-hmm. And uh, it would be fun if we we're not going to rank them all, but we're going to grade them all, like mm-hmm. score them out of 10. Mm-hmm. And I, I think our, we've kind of been doing this off camera a bit. Mm-hmm, Sue's mm-hmm. kind of did it, but we're all going to do it Super now. fast. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we are true guitar friends, whether the cameras uh-huh. are rolling you or not. You know, if you're watching this podcast, you have rated your guitars <laughs> right. over and over uh-huh. again. Well, you know, and like, it's everyone's dream to sit in front of a wall of 20 guitars and be able to rate that many that Which ones do quickly. I like? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're doing it too. So 
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna rate these. So uh, we'll, we'll put the photo up right here. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. as we tr if we turn towards the wall, make sure we're still in our mics for you guys because you kind of got to turn around. It's okay. True. Yeah. But um, I've memorized it. I know every, each and every position. So who wants to go first here, Suze? I think you should go first. Uh, How are we doing way, this? Well, you're gonna say it, and then I'm gonna, uh, well, then we're gonna critique, critique. you. Critique. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm going to challenge you. I'm gonna go. Really? Is it that bad? You know. And then we're I gonna. See. You know what I'm saying? Should we do that, or should we like do one guitar and then we all rate? Each that was guitar. my question. Like, is it all me right now, or? Okay, or... let's do one, and then we'll all rate it. Yeah, let's we'll, go. We'll try it. All right, and we're gonna do top ten. It what one through ten on the top, ten yeah. through twenty on the bottom. There okay. Okay, here we go. Guitar number one, the Retro Sound Gold Top oh, with P nineties, built by uh, Shad at uh, at Retro uh, Retro Sound, mm -hmm. and uh, it has his nifty fifty P nineties. I don't know how many of those guitars are available or how many guitars from Retro Center are available, but there's a lot of pickups available. Mm. And then he built some guitars. Mm. Um, he, I bought that guitar from him. He sent it to me. I, did, I wouldn't send it back. And then he came over here and he told me, you know, I built another one of these. Not as good. <laughs> ah. <laughs> good information to have. <laughs> so um, I really like that thing. Um, am I going first? Who, who's going first? Yeah, why don't you go? This is yeah. your guitar. Out of 10, I'm going to say... I mean, let's just rem remember something. This is also, it's, it's not, it's not, I'm not scoring it as a Les Paul. I'm scoring it just as a guitar. Yeah. Okay. So Les Paul, so like, if you don't like Les Pauls, you can score Les Pauls lower. You know, like your favorite type of guitar <laughs> might score higher. Yeah. yeah so okay. it's just, it's completely personal and subjective. Yeah. It's just that guitar. How you. you feel yeah, about I'm it. I'm not right. comparing it to other, right. other things. I'm going to give that guitar a seven. Hmm. Wow. That's cool. There was a long time where I just played that and Goldie, and I was very happy. Uh, and I thought these, if I could only play two guitars sitting right here, I could be happy playing these two. All right. What direction are we going? I'll go. All right. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time on that thing, mm -hmm. but I'll give it like a five. Okay. I think it's like not good. Mm -hmm. Not, not, no, no, no. Sorry. It's not outstanding, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. Yeah. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Yeah. yeah. It's a P90 Les Paul, which is not everyone's thing. It's That's very my vintage. Thing with it, yeah. You know what I mean? It's very light. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go six. Uh -huh. And I think that the neck itself is one of my favorite necks on it's, the wall. It's hmm. big. Yeah. Super comfortable. I don't know. It just has a good response. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the sound of it is not my thing. Mm. Um, especially there's a lot of other humbucker type guitars up there I'd pick before. That's, mm. you know, try to place it there. So. Yeah, it's a, a P90 Les Paul is a thing. It looks killer, though, too. It does. It looks finish great. is great. Yeah. It looks great. Okay, guitar number two, the Red Sur. I mean, mm. if there was ever a, a good-looking, flashy-looking Sur. Mm -hmm. It's red. It's red. And that one's got Lambertone Ristrettos in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a... It's a JM Pro, so I can't complain about it. Yeah, it started but, off good, and then... But got... the, the color is uh, is a thing. Yeah. Not always my favorite thing. It's it's in the rating for sure. So I'm going to say six. Mm. Ah, okay. By the way, guys, I hate none of these guitars. I own them. Yeah, yeah. They're yours. So like, just you so chose to, like, keep, to yeah. keep them. Yeah. If, if people are waiting right. for like threes and fours, there may be one or two up there, but it's not. Right. I mean, I wouldn't own it. Yeah. Well. Huh. Yeah. Or it wouldn't be on the wall. I'm going to give that guitar a four. Interesting. Hmm. And the only reason it got a four is because it has the baked maple neck. It would have scored lower. Uh, which is a plus for you. Yeah. yeah. I love the baked maple neck. Wow. I don't like the color. Um, I I think every other set of Lambertone pickups I've heard are outstanding. I don't like those for mm -hmm. some reason. Not really. Those, these are they're, they're, they're popular ones. I know, but they're very bright. It's it's almost too bright. Mm -hmm. Um. But that was me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys know I don't like matching headstocks. I mean, we got to start oh there. Oh, my God. I painted love matching heads. You don't like yeah, painted, painted headstocks. Painted matching I headstocks. Wanna, I want every guitar to have a painted headstock. <laughs> if Goldie could have a painted headstock, I right. I just it. don't know about it. Um, anyway, the color, it's not for me. The color's not my favorite. Um, 
I like the pickups. I prefer these pickups, the S nineties. Um, to and so I have this. That's fair. I'll take S nineties. We, we got blue. I feel like know. that's. I feel, yeah, yeah. That's what I was comparing. Yeah. Yeah. Against. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go five middle of the road on that. Five middle of the road. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, let me say something about that guitar. To me, that guitar is like if you wanted a Strat, but you didn't. But but you wanted mm-hmm. it to be, mm-hmm. like more than a strat like a bulkier yeah high, yeah mm-hmm. yeah so to me i've always said i don't know that that uh curtis at lambertone you know positions them this way or whatever but to me it's like if you had the s90 and you had the and you had the goldie if you had blue and goldie and you asked for like a halfway in between that tone mm. uh, that's that guitar oh yeah that's a good and so i've done videos on that thing saying basically mm-hmm. i don't i i don't really like playing tellies live because i like to have a wiggle stick Mm, and mm. so instead i just play that and i go this is my telly mm, it's bright it is it's very dark. bright it is very bright and that's yeah. so i kind of like that you know and it's mm. got uh it doesn't quite have the telly kerrang you know that mm. sort of steely you know yeah. bridgey sound mm. but um but to me i'm just like <laughs> if i want that thing i'll play that yeah and that's right. my jm that's my jm pro version of a yeah something like that so that's right. where that guitar sits for me the bernie Dude, the Bernie SG, man, let me tell yeah. you, I sold out the makeout room with that guitar oh. and ripped my pants the same night and oh. rocked it anyway. Wow. You know? All the uh, ups and that, downs in that story. Oh, yeah. I want to yeah. hear the whole yeah. story at some point. Yeah. But, yeah. Ended up, you know, that's, I mean, that's driving a white van full of gear, Taco when did you Bell, buy that 2 a.m., you know? Bro, I bought that Bernie when you could get Bernies for 500 bucks from Japan all day did long. Did you buy it for 500? 500 bucks. What mm. year are we talking estimate? Man, I was in San Francisco and I took that immediately took a guitar. I used to take all my stuff to Gary Brower in San Francisco. Mm. And he had the first, he had the second Pleck machine ever in the United States. Hmm. Wow. So there were some in Germany and then around the UK. And then one hit New York and then one hit Gary Brower's. And then I'd go into that shop. Satriani would be in there. Hammett would be, Kirk Hammett would be in there. Hmm. Hmm. Um, all the guys, Neil Schoen was, his guitars are always in there. I never saw Neil Schoen in there, but I saw his guitars all the time. Neil Schoen's the guitar player for Journey. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you knew I needed that assist. I knew. Also, Bumblefoot. I think is that a name Bumblefoot? No, you made that up. Bumblestick. Bumblefoot. No, look him up. I'm not kidding. That's a good wow. Word. <laughs> Buckethead. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Translation? no, 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 no. <laughs> not Buckethead. Um, you were telling me the year that you bought it. Yeah, and uh, but it's it's an old one, right? It's the 80s, or is yeah, it... it's an 80s. It's close to my birth year, if not my birth year. I don't remember. Mm. It's a mid 80s, mm. and um, it has the VH ones. I remember doing some research and going, oh, people like these VH1 pickups, which mm. people think is named after Van Halen 1, mm. that when they were making them, they said, here's the sound of... But it's really named after the channel VH1? Uh, no one really knows. It's one of those I'm things that's yes. just, it's just in the Japanese catalog, and I love there's it. no one to ask. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there's no one to ask. Oh, totally. not, there's no Mr. Bernie anywhere. All right. Yeah. And, uh, and <laughs> Mr. So, Bernie. Um, I love that idea. <laughs> dude, that thing is awesome. Simpsons. Uh... Yeah, what, what's the rating on it? I, I just realized, too. Eight and a half. Yeah, his ratings oh, are going to... going points? His ratings are going to be so different than ours. Because yeah, these sure. are his guitars. Sure. But I have some I have some that I own... Let me just say, I will have some lower scores. No, I know you will. Because some of these I own for the channel. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. eight and a half, I'm going to say. Eight and a half. Because... That guitar has a lot of mojo. The mm-hmm. pickups are incredible in its own way. Mm-hmm. Like, it sounds incredible. You play that thing, it's awesome. It plays great. Mm-hmm. It just has a real vibe. I'm not really an SG guy, totally. Evidenced by... Uh, well, I mean, that's the only... <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> that's the only, like, normal SG you own Correct. other than a double Correct. Mm-hmm. And I've owned others and I've sold them, but that one... That's not a real SG. No. No. <laughs> it's like two glued together. Um, so those VH1 sound great, yeah, great, great. Yeah. No, Tons I, of mojo. I give that guitar an eight all day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it, it does have mojo. The pickups are, they're like real smooth. Mm-hmm. They're not very aggressive, but yeah, they're like, they're kind of gentle. They're gentle, but they're, they're good. Yeah. They're real good. And it feels good. feels just as good as any SG I've ever played. Like yeah. Gibson yeah. SG yeah, I've ever absolutely. played. Absolutely. I'm going eight as well. It might be my favorite solid body Gibson style up there. Wow. Um, yeah, it's really, really great. And the more I play it, like in demos and just kind of on stuff after other guitars, mm-hmm. it, it starts to really show its colors. Yeah, because like, it's just man, like this, black. And, it hangs with mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah, you can miss it. 
Yeah. But then you start playing it, and it's like, oh, there's something here. I've owned two SGs in the past. Three. I owned three SGs in the past. Yeah. That was that's been my favorite so far. Mm. Yes. Um, and I don't even own it, but I get to play it a lot. Hmm. So. And just so people know, um, those I think that's a 550. It's a, I think they call them EG 550s or something like that. I can't okay. remember how they do the SGs. Those are probably in the fifteen hundred dollar range today. So okay. Fifteen sixteen. Dang. I kind of want to get a white one, but that's beside the point. Yeah, you can find them. <laughs> you can know. find them. Ooh. A All white, right, let's keep this moving. A white SG. That's a good vibe. Oh, so good. I used to yeah. have one. Okay, so um, the red Rasmus. Oh boy. Um, I think these are cool for what they are, but I'm giving that guitar uh, a three. Hmm. Wow. It's cool. I mean, if you, it was a great idea by Sir. We're going to do import guitars, mm -hmm. and if anything comes in, we're going to fix it and do the fretwork here. There was so much wrong. They were having to spend so much time. They realized we can't do this. Do profitably. you know what year that was? That was happening. I lived here. So, oh really? Well, I remember when you got it. Oh dang! I thought yeah. that mm -hmm. it was only a couple years before that. So I want to oh. say they did this in 2015. Oh wow! 20. It's relatively mm -hmm. recent. I mean, it's something they tried and then they just decided we can't really do this. Right. It's not making sense. Hmm. So they, I think they only did two runs. Mm. Like there was the initial run and right. then they did one more. They are and then, very hard to find. I've looked cheap, for them. They're though, very too, right? rare and they they were cheap when they came. They out. They were cheap when they came out. I think they're 700 bucks or something. Oh hmm. wow! And Gosh. I thought that they were. It was it, it, same Goto bridge. Mm -hmm. The tuners, I think, are the same. Uh, they were doing setups here. I thought the pickups were the same as the American stuff, but uh, I don't think I, they they're are. not. They're, they're not. not. What it is is like uh, how PRS goes. Here's the SE humbucker, like mm -hmm. right. of the same name. Right. It's like yeah. they got the, they got the fifty sevens, and then they're like, it. here's the SE fifty sevens. Yeah. yeah. So it's supposed to be the same spec, but it's not. So what'd you give that a three? Three. Man, I give that guitar a five all day. All right. Wow. I love that guitar. It's um, <laughs> it's it's not. It, I I think it feels like a Sir, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. The pickups are lacking. That's the only reason yes. it doesn't score. It, I would actually score it higher if the pickups were better. And you and I talked about. Hmm. Um, I'm probably just going to buy the the American oh, yeah, we, Sir pickups. Yeah, and we're we going to put at, them in there. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Uh, then once I do that. Then the guitar will be probably a seven or an eight yeah. for me. Wow. And I, I love a that great guitar. deal because there's damage on it. The front, it someone messed up. The, yeah. yeah. The paint is like chipped off. Which is like awesome. Volume. I'll take it. Yeah. I've I think committed... I made 400 bucks for that guitar. Wow. I've committed to not do decimal points. Okay. And so I'm just going for round numbers. I'm also at a three, which I think is our first uh, unanimous number. Uh, three, 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 all the way no, around. No, I gave it a oh, five. Oh, I'm so five. sorry. Gosh. Yeah. My memory's terrible. Um, yeah, three as well. Mm -hmm. um, matching painted headstock. Um, <laughs> modern style, not my thing. It's not your thing. Uh, the damage, uh, I, yeah, that's not my good It's not your thing. The damage? It just adds to the fact it, that it's like it's, all messed up. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I can't get excited about it. I feel like it. damage doesn't bother me on guitars. I was actually just <laughs> fixing my, my Les Paul today before I came over. I was uh -huh. restringing it. That guitar, I've played it so much. It is destroyed. Yes. If there's chips on it yeah. everywhere. Mm. You know how Les Pauls have like the hard edge around the outside? Because mm -hmm. it's a studio. It's not bound. Yeah. 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 It the, the paint and finish have worn off. And it's yes. wood on the corner of it. Wow. And the it's all chipped. And I'm like, man, I freaking love this thing. If you get enough mm. chips in it, is it then a chipson? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got it. <laughs> Just want okay. to clarify. <laughs> All right, next. All right, the Tokai. Oh, interesting. I'm, this will be interesting. Ten. Wow. Wow, a ten. Uh huh. Okay. I the first ten for you. So this is like kind of this is like a this this guitar gives me like slash vibes, mm -hmm. right, dude? Do you know how rare? And this is what I love about this. Um, double creams on a burst happened, but they're very rare. Right. Normally mm. they're zebra. Norm th th black or zebra. Black or zebra. And it was just the case that they were running out of bobbins and they had some white ones. Mm. And so, um, s but some zebras exist or some, uh, some double creams exist. They're very rare. And I think, I, I think they only happen until like in 60. I don't know. Someone called Joe Bonamas if you want to really know, but uh, <laughs> he, would, he would know that is a Tokai that was made. And those are DeMarzio's. Oh, those are DiMarzio PAFs in there. Now, here's the interesting thing: DiMarzio had Tokai make the DiMarzio PAFs for that guitar, but they branded them DiMarzio, and that was their whole thing. Was 
Tokai was saying our top model, if you want our top model, it has DeMarzio PAFs in it. Mm. There's a bunch of stuff on the internet of people saying those DeMarzio PAFs, as great as they are, they sound great. We don't really know if they're different. You'd have to do like a test. No one really does a test. Like right. it's one of those things kind of obscure where and there's not enough people who own this guitar and into this to know about this, <laughs> you know what I mean? To actually mm -hmm. do a test. But people say, but actually Tokai was making them. That is also a mid eighties. That's an early eighties. I think that's an 81. Hmm. I could be wrong. Maybe the golden 81. I'd have to look it up. It's in mid to early eighties. Mm. And that's the era of Japanese guitar building where you know, there it's every bit as good as the American stuff. Um, they were really committed to the craft, mm -hmm. and that's why I like guitars of that era. I've come to realize how great they are. Mm. Uh, I wanted a Les Paul that I felt like wasn't my PRS Les Paul, and that had the Les Paul sound and thing. And mm -hmm. I feel like that is one of the best Les Pauls I've ever run into. Mm -hmm. It's not everyone's thing. I mm. played it at church, and killed, like with minimal adjustment. It was awesome with my sounds. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's not the throatiest Les Paul. It those pickups are like nice, and kind of bright, and that's what works for mm. me about it. So ten. I love that's the way it cool. plays. It's a little on the heavy side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I give that guitar at least an eight, maybe a nine. All right. It's like I, I th for all the same reasons. Yeah. It's like I think it's actually it's a it's a near perfect Les Paul. Like it's got a great vibe, sounds great, mm. the neck feels good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a excellent guitar. Yeah. I'm at a five on that guitar. <laughs> all right. Um, I hear you. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's okay. It's um, okay. Five. No, uh, yeah, the the finish is not my favorite finish. Like the flame is not for me. Um, the zebra also not it. Um, no, not zebra. Uh, double whites. Double. I'm cream. sorry. Yeah, double whites. Um, I know I'm when not, I got it, that was the first thing you said, and you were like, "Oh, double oh, white pickups, huh?" I'm not and I was a like, slash, yeah. not a slash guy. <laughs> it's it's hitting an era that I just was never involved mm. in or Slash's cared about. Slash's guitar though know? is a trans it's different. amber. It's a different color. Yeah. It also zebra. It has zebra pickups and it has a bunch. Oh, of... Oh, sorry. You just said slash earlier. I did. So I'm yeah. Just, okay. yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that yeah. same. It, it, I, I get it. It's not too far, but Slash's <laughs> thing is. Uh, it's, it's just different. nailing something I don't want to yes, nail. Yes. Yeah. You know. And it's no, like, you're right. And when I play it, um, we'll get to it uh, soon. There's a way better Les Paul up there. <laughs> yeah. Way better. Sla you know, you know that, that, uh, t that vintage over there, mm -hmm. that's the exact slash finish and pickup. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. I remember you know, that. The yellow the, trans amber with the, the eight Les Paul video we made. Yes. That was yes, interesting. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Keep us moving. Next Telecaster. Oh, oh man. man. This thing what, is a channel It's favorite. like a no name or Gar like a I mean, Gary Brower's one day mm -hmm. and, uh, Gary Same Brower's guy. shop was in the back of real guitars in San Francisco, which I think uh, has since shut down. Gary retired. And then honestly, the only reason anyone went into that shop was because Gary was the best guitar it's his shop, yeah. guy on the, on the like West coast. And, mm. uh, so a real guitar. Sh uh, anyway, uh, I go in there one day and my buddy Fernando who taught me how to play the guitar. And, uh, um, he goes, he goes, Hey Johnny, you want to see my less, my, my new telly? And I go, yeah, sure. And then he goes, uh, Oh, it's right there. And I'm playing it and I'm playing it and playing it. And I go, are you going to buy this? And he goes, yeah, why? And I go, because I'm going to buy it if you're not. And then he goes, you go ahead and buy it. <laughs> so I bought it, and they told me it was probably a big text telly because mm. it came in a big text case. Mm. But it had a Fender decal that someone put on over the finish. Mm. So it was, that was already flaking off. It flaked off in the next year or so. And I asked what kind of pickups, and this guy said, mm, Lawler's, I think. And that's all we know about the guitar. <laughs> and I don't want to know We've anything We've never else. opened it up. I don't want to Never know. opened it up. Would you allow John and I to open it, look, and never say a word? <laughs> Just to have that over you, like we know. <laughs> I love that. That's a great question. I don't know. I'm not Just sure. Think I on have it. to think about think it. On you know, it. that could be an episode. <laughs> that's Ooh. what has me going. It's like, well, if oh. we're going to do it, we got to put it on camera. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. All right. So what's the rating? A 10. 10. A 10. We gave it a Interesting. Try. Um, I'm going to give that guitar like a seven. I, I think it sounds great. Mm -hmm. I think it's an excellent telly. The neck I don't love. Mm. It's got mm. a very V shape. There's a neck. profile. You yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. you can't on video. You would never know that, but it's, it's a very, yeah. You notice it when you pick it up, when you pick it up, you're like, Oh, this neck feels not yes. like nothing I've ever felt before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't hate it. Um, but to me, it's not like what I, I don't know, but it sounds good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm at an eight. Um, I really like that guitar. It's always sounded great on demos. That guitar is so good. You tried to buy one just like it. I did, and I sold it. Nah. <laughs> Um, I will say if that neck pickup got swapped, it would be a nine or a 10. Yeah. Mm. It, it, it holds it back because it's, it's not balanced with the bridge. The bridge sounds out of this world. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, and if that neck did too, it would be hard to stop. The neck is like too, not, not bright it's, enough. It's or? dark for sure. Yeah. And dark. quieter. It just feels more subdued than the neck yeah. than the bridge pickup. You think it's gotten worse over time? Maybe. We mm. should take it to Musicville and have them work on it. <laughs> New store right here in Franklin. Got great talent. And yeah. I hear the guy that does setups there. Yeah. Rocking. Guys, when we do completely inside jokes, how was anyone supposed to get it? It was short. <laughs> it might have been. Yeah, I'm, the, at a, I'm at John, eight. John is for, the tech at Music for Bill. The, is the joke for the, <laughs> for the 19 people or uh, less that got yeah. to this part of the podcast. Right. Yeah. We're not even on the bottom the row. Analytics, the analytics right now. Would, would there's there's over 100 people listening solid which is kind of a lot hey if you need your Tons. guitar set up and you're in uh the you know south of nashville yes. area mm. musicville and franklin yeah all right we're gonna speed this up goldie yep. is a 10 it's 10. a 10 10 it's the absolute yeah come on there's i some... defy anyone to play that guitar and yeah. say that it's not a 10 yeah let, let me uh, yeah. I'll, I'll say this about it too i don't like strats mm-hmm. i'm holding one but I don't like strats. Yeah. They're never what I want to pick up. And the first time I picked it, in five seconds, I said, this guitar has something that I've never experienced before. I stopped thinking of that guitar as a strat. Yeah. It's, it's not even its a strat to me. Thing. It's gold. It's its own it's thing. It's its own. It's really, really excellent. And it looks like a trillion dollars. And sometimes <laughs> when people are like, oh my gosh, it's so gaudy. It's so everything. I'm just like... You have poor taste. I wish I could block care. people on YouTube. Yeah. I, I do You know, too. if you say that about Goldie, you're, yeah. you're, you're Block. Right. Blocked. Yeah. I don't want to anyway, run into your comments. That was, a, that was a fast one. We all agree. Yeah, that was a good one. All right. Gold Greco. The gold top um, Greco. Go, yeah. this, is a, this is a 71 remake. This is what I love about uh, Japanese guitars. In the year they made this, in the early-ish 80s, or mid-80s, these early 70s, like a 72, which was would have been the first year they made these deluxes, maybe 71. They weren't even sought after guitars yet. Mm. Like mm. no one, re- they weren't even thought of as like, these are mm. great, but they built the volume the same, which in later years became like a mark of like disdain, like, ugh, those era pancake body. Like, that's what I love about the Japanese. They were like, we're going to recreate these guitars for good or bad. We're not going to editorialize them. Mm. We're just going to remake them. Like that's mm-hmm. our dedication to the process. Uh, I bought that guitar in in during my what i call the greco rush of 2023 Mm -hmm. and uh the uh 10 wow 10 a 10 equal to the tokai what equal to the tokai in its own way maybe better but the scale only goes to 10 you you can't go to 11 that's the whole thing right it's not a classic les paul it's Mm -hmm. a les paul deluxe and it's like true to the first year they made that guitar Mm mm-hmm and uh if you want to see how much hw loves that guitar go find the looping video that you made with all the faces it's called it's called dumble liquid profile yeah, yeah that is it. your feelings on that guitar oh it's so good <laughs> i just watched it earlier today i give that guitar a an an eight or a nine probably a nine okay it would score a 10 uh-huh but I think mini humbuckers look really stupid. No, it does hold it back for you. It, I don't like it. I but used, I love the yeah. gold top color. The mm-hmm. color is perfect. Mm-hmm. I like the color of it. I like the cream pit guard. Yeah. It it feels great. It sounds incredible. I just don't like the way mini humbuckers yeah. look. Yeah. I'm at a nine. I love the crap out of that guitar. <laughs> I, I feel inspired playing it. Yeah. Um it feels like it has a mojo, like we just said, like earlier. That it feels like a, a Goldie or a Trini in yes, that sense. Yes. Yes. And, and the only thing is that it's a Les Paul, and, and that's and, not my go-to. And you haven't given any guitar a ten yet. Uh, Goldie. Goldie gave a ten. We yeah. all gave Goldie. Okay, a 10. that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It sits right underneath right. that to me. Yeah. Okay, pink, uh, pink, uh, Sir oh, yeah. JM with uh, the Lambertrons. Lambertrons. Um, nine. A nine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give that guitar an eight. I love that. You guitar. were playing it earlier. It I sounded love, eight. I love it. Mm-hmm. Now again, I love 
baked maple necks. Mm-hmm. F- the neck feels incredible. Uh, it's got Those pickups are incredible. They're so good. Yeah, the only They're reason I didn't so give it a good. 10 is because any Tron style pickup sometimes requires some changes to a rig. Yeah. But that but that's oh, yeah, my favorite, yeah. you know what I mean? But that, that was no, my thing. Yeah. Tron style pickups always yes. require yeah. changes. We, it almost sounds like you changed instruments completely. Yeah. Yes. Not even a guitar anymore. Oh yeah, that day that we played we played a bunch of these guitars, probably guitars. 15, yeah. 20 guitars yeah, back yeah, yeah. to back to back. Right. And then you handed me your silver sparkle jet and it was like scene change and it was like this yeah. is but like that a guitar com- is a lot different that's yeah, that's yeah. kind of you know but this has the same vibe i was mm-hmm, playing mm-hmm. what was i playing right before that i was playing something oh no i was playing the gold we'll get to it but the gold sir mm-hmm. with the humbuckers in it and then i switched to that one it's like oh a little darker a little less output but mm-hmm. feels fantastic sounds fantastic mm. i love that guitar i'm a nine as well on that guitar yeah um I love filter trons. I love jam pros. Mm-hmm. You put them together. And mm-hmm. I remember when you said you were going to do that, I was like, oh yeah, that's going to kill. I remember. That, just please do You're that. Like, I yeah. think I'm going to get, yeah. It was genius idea. Um, yeah. Curtis killed those pickups too. They sound yeah, incredible. They yeah. sound um, really good. So yeah, I, again, I, I think what's keeping it from the 10 is uh-huh. probably that extra yeah. mojo that like yeah. a Goldie or a Trini, which we haven't talked about. Yeah, I mean, about, for but. context, that is probably my second most played guitar. Mm. The like color's cool church. too. Mm. Like blue, I probably have played the most and that guitar might be number two. Mm. I've been playing it a lot more than my than my other gold JM, which was yeah. number two for a long time. How um, glad am I that the headstock's not pink? So glad. So glad. <sighs> I take it. Um, <laughs> I love painting that. Uh, the Charvel dinky looking thing mm. with the... Uh, with the with the uh, Floyd Rose, you guys, you got to be honest. John Mayer had some pictures where he played and, and a video where he played a pink dinky, and I, I bought that like the week later. <laughs> yeah, so I was a little, I was a little like, uh, you know, influenced. Uh, I'm gonna give that guitar a two. A two. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be higher. I'll give it. Yeah, probably a probably a two. Mm-hmm. It's it's not bad. It's, it's just fine. not. It's just not my thing. Two. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So are we looping back? No, we're gonna go down to Trini. Down to Trini. Oh, yeah. So okay, we're gonna well. start. We're gonna go right here. So we'll go to. Should Trini. we say? It, should we all say it all at once? Three, <laughs> Three two, two, one. one. Ten. Ten. Okay. There by we go. <laughs> by, uh, if it if the scale went to twenty, I would say twenty. Trini probably like, needs some love too. It needs a really, setup and does. maybe even a refret. Uh, and uh, but I'm open. But that guitar is probably gonna go, um, into uh somebody. And I'm going to say, what do you think we should do here? Mm. And uh, I'd be open to what they say. I don't feel like it needs anything like immediately, but realistically, if I'm being honest, it's, it could play better. Mm. Um, and, and the frets it's are just a good old wellness check too. Like yes. is everything working here. Yeah. And it, 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 it's worn down in some spots. Some, there's some fret yeah. wear, but it's cause it's been loved and played and, and it just sounds incredible. It really does. Man. That guitar has, so much mojo yeah Mm -hmm. maybe the most maybe the most it's like it's not my favorite neck profile the neck is very very skinny skinny the nut width is like so thin chords Mm -hmm. were real close together yeah Yeah. that was one of the only guitars that we were playing together and you stopped playing and looked at me and you're like that sounds so good i was like john hit that again i was like (laughs) dang everybody listen to that it sounds so good It was so, I mean, it really was, yeah. I was playing the Arshall pack too. And it's just like that yes, guitar get out. through, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next one is the Chapman, the black Chapman here. Oh, man. Uh, All right. Three, two, just kidding. <laughs> this, I'm going to give this guitar, uh, are we giving zeros? Can we do that? That's, I think one is the lowest. One is the lowest. I'm going to yeah. give it a one. Um, I don't like this, the way this guitar plays. <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. Uh, I barely like, I can't make it into something that I like the way it sounds. But yeah. John owned this guitar and then he said, Hey, I'm, Hey, do you have a shipping box or something? I'm going to sell this guitar, mm-hmm. I think, or I don't, maybe you said, I'm going to sell it. And, uh, I said, no, I don't sell it. It sounds so good in the demos when you played it. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, but I don't really play it. I don't want it. I'm going to sell it. 
And uh, I said, well, how much do they sell for? And I think it was 600 bucks. Yeah, something And like I think that. I said, well, It I'll... has, like, legit EMGs in it. Yeah, and so, yeah. yeah. So I said, well, I'll buy it. We'll just, it, we'll, we'll just play it on some it. demos. Yeah. And we've played it on a bunch of demos. Uh, John's played it. Matt's played it. I think mm -hmm. you've played it once or right. twice. Tongue in cheek. Uh, yeah, like a joke. <laughs> uh, you know? <laughs> a joke. <laughs> it's like. like we, yeah. <laughs> it's not, yeah. Uh, and it's I worth don't, keeping for jokes. Yeah, it's one of those things. That's why it's here. Yeah. Hmm. So you gave it a one. I think I'd give it like a two. Mm -hmm. I don't love that guitar either. I was selling it. <laughs> you may recall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I don't like about it, it has like jumbo frets, like jumbo yes. jumbo and frets. The neck is big. Yeah. big. Like the a, neck is big. Yeah. I, I've never seen frets this big on a guitar. It's like railroad. The <laughs> neck almost border borders on like, is this a cheap classical guitar i've picked up the neck shape it's, it's weird. Like, what is this it's neck a weird shape? thing man i was a two until y'all started talking now i'm a one <laughs> no you're one the thing is is that i want to like it yeah yeah that it sounds that's, that's your vibe that's my every yeah. guitar i own looks like that yeah. guitar <laughs> it's a great it's a good sound though when we've played it on different stuff yeah. it's been a great sound yeah. the guild this is a guild starfire oh. four or five I think five, it's a five. Yeah. It's a starfire five and uh that's from 1964 so it, cool it has absolutely the coolest tuners on there they're mm. like art deco mm. tuners mm -hmm. they're brilliant that might be the best guitar i bought on reverb in terms of how, what more could i expect it played perfect perfectly when i took it out mm -hmm. everything worked 64 it, it's aged like you would age a photoshop photo of a 64 like it just mm. looks the aging just yeah. looks beautiful like yeah. the neck the way it's worn down yeah i i messaged the guy and i said dude this is like one of the best playing vintage guitars i've ever found mm. how did you do this and he said oh i just sent it to gruens last month and then i got it back and i decided to sell it mm. so that's wow. how he did it so it had been set up so it returned mm. home to nashville mm. um seven seven mm. Mm. i give that guitar yeah i i think six or a seven is a great mm. it yeah probably for me a six i was seven or eight but i was going seven i don't love I, I think a six for me i don't love the scale length of it it's like very short and then um it's like a casino the body meets the neck to very high very high so there's yeah. not a lot maybe of, that's what yeah. i yeah Interesting. Mm -hmm. and then the pickups are like kind of lackluster to me but for yeah. like how old it is yeah it's, a good call. it's yeah. got a good vibe and it's got the the guilds be on there oh yeah the, yeah. the guild actually feels really guild good. made big speed yeah. yeah i remember you loved this thing when we when yes i out. i will say i right today i'm a seven but i think it could easily go back to an eight or nine it just yeah it, it could use a setup i think there's the pickups are a little scratchy mm. the strings mm -hmm. are super old it's just it has fallen out of yes being in its tip top you know yeah but there there's a special quality standalone quality about that guitar on that wall yeah. mm. that it draws me to that thing and it it's very unique and it feels like it doesn't compete with a gibson or a, yeah you know you played a bc30 profile with it yesterday and i yeah. was like that sounds good sounds and then we did so some good. videos and i was like play that because that sounded yeah killer so it's it's let's, a, it's 2024 let's make that and journey back to top to yeah. top you know? yeah all right right after we hang the lights uh <laughs> the, Gre the, Gre the greco 335 the 70s um, kind of uh yeah. era 335 again the japanese making these things in the late 80s when they weren't even sought after mm -hmm. uh there's nothing wrong with this just not my favorite thing uh it's for sale right now uh, I've done videos on it. It's it's cool. It's great. I've realized I'm not the hugest 335 fan. Yeah, you were saying you don't like the way they feel when you play. Yeah, I've realized I actually mm. don't. I just prefer like just a Strat style thing. Mm. And um, I'm gonna say five or six. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I, I, I there's nothing wrong with this guitar, and I like it. it sounds pretty good. Um, it sounds good. Um, you know, it's, it's this typical 70s, like it's got a nice neck, the volute, it's got uh, the little switch to flip, to like split your humbucker. They did that mm -hmm. in the 70s, I yeah. bet, you know, and they are what they are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The split, the coil split sound, I don't love on that guitar. Mm -hmm. It's almost too thin. It's it's too thin. Mm -hmm. um, man, I like it though. I, I know it, it's good. Plays I give, nice. it a, I give it a five, like very middle of the road. Yeah, I think I'm at a six for the same yeah, reasons. Six. Um, yeah. yeah, I like my 330, 335 better. Trini obviously is better. There's just a lot that will beat it, but it's yeah, 
definitely above I know that middle. we were playing that mm-hmm. and we plugged yours in I yeah was, and i th- and i thought immediately oh i like this one better. it does have a little bit of that old mojo to it yeah plus yours has the bigsby on it that's true bigsby the prs <laughs> the eight. mccarty let's give it an eight an eight it's per- it's great like i can't say anything bad about it mm. we've talked about it. it doesn't have mojo yeah so maybe yeah. a seven seven and a half <laughs> Seven and a half, right in the middle. Seven and I'm half. literally between seven and a half and eight, and I'll say the reason it's not higher, not a lot of mojo. Mm. But it's just great. Plays great. It stays in tune. It's not like a get not like a Les Paul, it stays in tune. Mm. Those mm. pickups sound great. It's comfortable. It's pretty light. It's awesome. You talked me up from a four to a five. Wow. Yeah. It's I don't not love, inspiring. I don't, I don't love that. It's not, it's not inspiring. inspiring. It's not inspiring. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> no, it's 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 one of those things. It's like yeah, it's kind of like a Les Paul. Yeah, it's not mm. so sterile that it's like playing like. That's uh, what it feels like. It's not me. like a Parker Flyer. Remember those Parker guitars? Oh, with, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, it's like technically so good that nobody right. wants it. You know. Yeah. It's not in that vein, mm. but it just doesn't have the extra special thing. Mm-hmm. Keeps it, coming up in this conversation. It's interesting. Yeah, that, I don't, that I, thing. Yeah, I don't love that. Guitar. I'm going to go five, and I'm also going to put it down to a four because of PRS tax. Mm. <laughs> Once you're a PRS, you got to go down a point. I'm sorry. You don't like the birds? <laughs> is it the we birds? Talk, we talked it? about PRS on the like podcast PRS. before. It's I can't get excited about them. Mm. But tell me that Santana headstock isn't the best, make it one of the better looking PRSs you've ever. I think that accounts against it, actually. I like really? The, I like the mayor one, the silver sky. Oh, well, that's just a reverse. I yeah, like the normal. Cool. But that would look weird on this guitar. <laughs> Did you see the Strat one? I guess it's similar. Or is it the same as the Mayer one? The Telly one? Oh, sorry, the Telly, yes. The Telly the PRS. Same? No, I it's don't It's a think. new guitar that just came out. No, I don't think I saw that. Yeah, it's I'll, funky. I'll, I'll take a look. At it. Hmm, I got to look at that. I didn't notice. PRS All right, the tech. Gold Sir? Yeah, the Gold Sir. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean... <sighs> Not this one, but that one. Yeah. They're little buttons. Right, that one has the humbuckers Which, in it. Which uh, pickups are in that one? SSVs. Ah. It's a 10. Ooh, a 10. Wow. Yeah. It's done, wow. I mean, I, I've played that on... Basically, I play blue usually, and then I a lot of times I've played that, and then I'll pick it up and be like, oh, I like that there's a little more compression, was a little more Was that the gain. second JM Pro that you got? Because blue was the first one, I think. So... And I think that was the second one. I think you're right. And then I got no, this. No, 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 no. Blue actually. Well, the we're not first the JM Pro. If you guys, if we go back in that video, mm-hmm. the first JM Pro is like your Seuss, and and then this and and it was that and a black one, or not black. It was the other color with the. Uh, and then I returned it, and then I regretted it, and I uh, bought blue. Uh, and that's how we got blue. I regret. I, I was like, so which, you had this exact guitar. Gold if with we the go S90s back in the video, that's not mine. If we go back in the video, this is like what we bought. And then I've I returned it and then videos. I regretted it like a week or two later. And I was like, oh, I just wish That's I had that interesting. back. So I bought the blue one. Who's to say that this wasn't that same guitar? Who's to say? Did you sell it locally? No, I returned it to musicians. Friend. Uh, then very rare that that would be <laughs> the same one. <laughs> yeah. So what did you, you gave it ten. a 10. Ten. Right, 10 for you. Well, I recorded I, a bunch of that guitar. I think it sounds great. I, I think the SSVs are. I nice give it a me. nine. I, I restrung that guitar recently mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. tuned it up and i then i sat there and played it for an hour it's and i was like this guitar is fantastic yeah there's yeah. literally nothing there's no points against it the only reason it's not a 10 i think is because it doesn't have that extra yeah, yeah. mojo for me that it, to me none of the jam pros have that mojo and maybe that's the thing that, that's okay about them mm. i just feel like it's like more neutral without yeah. being cold mm-hmm. it's just like a nice uh it's a good platform i feel I'll say this though. I think that the the way those guitars, all the JM Pros that you have, that mm-hmm. one included, mm-hmm. they all that to me is the best a guitar can feel to play. Mm-hmm. Whenever I pick up a guitar, that's what I'm comparing it to. <laughs> the yes, standard, yes, yeah. that I is agree. for me. That's what I it agree. is. I'm yeah. getting it, every guitar I set up. I'm getting as close to feeling that way as possible. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to give every JM Pro an eight or above, mm-hmm. but that's going to get an eight. I gave the pink one a nine. I, I like those pickups more. Yeah. Uh, the SSVs are mid rangey and have a cool like classic rock kind of yeah. cut through the mix type yeah. of thing. I just enjoy them. They're pretty bright. I love them. You think so? 
Well, maybe coming I did, from this, they're I, dark to me, but well, yes, and then, that's true. Yeah. And then going to the the that's Lambertrons, yeah. they're they're more mid range than these for sure. You know, they have and they kind sound have like a honk, humbucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, th- there are certain pickups uh, that when you like record with them, you immediately realize, oh, they were right. Maybe I didn't appreciate it because I've been listening to it by itself. <laughs> so what's funny, um, you know, Desi spent a bunch of money basically switching out all these humbuckers in his Les Paul, and at the end of the day, he figured out from doing all these recordings and stuff and listening back that the Seymour Duncan 59s were his favorite. And Mm. then he started playing them at at church and he was like, these are the best, better than the Lawlers, better Mm -hmm. than everything he tried, better than the PRS pickups they had sent him. Mm. And then better than the 5708s, better than everything. Mm. He was just like, so his 594 now just has Seymour Duncan 59s. And he's like, he's like, as soon as I play them live with a band or record Mm. with them, they're just better, yeah. but on their own, I kind of prefer the other ones. That's what that's what's in my Les Paul studio. Is Seymour Duncan 59s. 59s. Yeah, oh. yeah, they sound great. They're I, I kind of felt that way about the SSVs. I played Blue all the time, and then we were recording something, and I pulled out that one, and the guy was like, "This is oh, this is better." Mm. And then I started playing it live, and I started going, "Oh, I like what this thing is. It has a little more of a focus that gives me like a spot in the mix." Rather than like, because sometimes maybe the mix gets so much, I can't appreciate all of the nuance. True. And so this just really gave me a nice little, that's where yep. you are. Yeah. I'll that's say that's that's my biggest gripe about Filtertron pickups. Mm. They get lost yeah, yeah, yeah. in yeah, the mix true. because they're so scooped mm-hmm. that yeah, you're right. they do get lost. Then that, and so that and their lower output, you have to like really crank things yeah. up yeah, yeah. to like be heard still. You got to mm. change the rig up. Yep. Sir uh, Squire, you rated it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Squire uh, Pink uh, with the Floyd. Let me tell you something. This to me is. Uh, <laughs> I'm going low, guys. <laughs> you know what, dude? I'm at a Convince five. Convince me. I'm a at a five. five. And I'll tell you, and I because I, I like this guitar. I think yeah. it's cool for what it is. Mm-hmm. It's not trying to be anything else. Um, I, I think I bought that guitar for $500. The Floyd works and stays in tune. I don't like the pickups. We're going to mm-hmm. replace them. Mm-hmm. And that, did we say we're getting. We were gonna do Seymour Duncan's. Weren't you gonna do like a JB? Yeah, I think that we said Lambertrons, or uh, we said uh, Lam- uh, uh, Thornbuckers. Thornbuckers. Oh. So we'll probably put Thornbuckers. Oh, in there. the Thornbucker with the yeah. plus in the bridge. And I. That's lo- gonna be great. Yeah, Thornbucker plus <laughs> in the bridge and Thornbucker. Face. And and dude, I um, th- it has a roasted neck and it's a comfortable neck. Little mm. on the thinner side, uh, this way. Yeah. But um. Honestly, for the price, I was like blown away. And so now I'm like, I don't have anything else like that exactly. So cool. Yeah. Four. Did I say four? I think you said five. But I'll say four or five. Yeah. Four or five. Yeah. Sure. You convinced yourself. Five with the pickups. I think that guitar is way better than the Charvel. Sim- yeah. Similar vibe. Yeah. Okay. Right? Both with the Floyd. They're both pink. That guitar sounds better and feels better than the Charvel. Agreed. Um, It is... Look, with all these like metal-ish guitars, you're getting a very flat fretboard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so you got to be prepared for that. If you don't like that, then yeah. you don't like it. Mm. Yeah. But the neck feels good. It yeah. is too flat for me. I yeah. don't I don't love it. Mm. But the Floyd is great. It's cool. And when we put those pickups in it, it's going to be actually yeah. pretty freaking cool. Even the Sues will like it. So I don't know what, if I rated it, but I'll, I'll give it like a six okay. for right now. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go four. I was at a three. You guys talked me up. Um, but Floyd, bad. Matching headstock, bad. Pickups, bad. <laughs> well, the well, pit, that's, um, a, that's just painted It's a, it it's is a kind of matching It's a painted matching. Headstock. It should just yeah, be yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, hey, here's, here, I, I know how to build Suze's mo, like, least... Uh, the, the guitar <laughs> that Suze build, would like the least... We should build his worst. ...is yeah. a, any body that's natural or flame or something uh-huh. and with a painted headstock... Uh-huh. And, and then, a Floyd Rose. And a Floyd Rose. And a scalloped fretboard. <laughs> but filled even, back in. But so it's filled back again. in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, well, yeah, four. Yeah. Four. It's not a strat. Let's play strats. Let's not play that yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not a strat. Uh, that's my first Sir next. It's a sunburst. Yeah, speaking uh, of strats. Uh, uh, strat. And um, uh, it's a 10. It's a 10. Man. I mean, I've mm. had that guitar for so long. I've never considered selling it. It's a Desert Island guitar. Yeah. Honestly, I've played it for so many profiling sessions and I, I a lot of the stuff gets compared to that guitar. A lot of the stuff gets profiled mm. with that or blue. Mm. And um, I just think for what it is, like the the bridge sounds great. Uh, What's the, the pickup on the bridge? SSV. And then the other ones? Uh, a, a V60 LP. Okay. And so, and that's, that was my first Sir, bought it on Craigslist. 
And that was before they even had standard models. Everything was custom ordered. Mm. Dang. And Remember what it, you paid for it? Sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> and dude, that was like, steal. yeah, it's a steal. That was and a that lot was, then, and that was like custom guitar. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. think knew they, you know, if you ordered one, it was like they could cost twenty three or twenty four hundred dollars oh right. if you custom ordered one. So right. there's a model now that's similar to that. The the custom classic is what they call pretty much that model, okay. and it's almost identical. There's a couple little changes, and that would be how much now? Five thousand dollars. I, I don't know if it's thirty-two, but it might be twenty-eight. Yeah. Uh, you know what? While you while you guys rate this, I'm gonna look up okay. what a yeah. custom classic would be right now. Um, I'm gonna give that guitar like a six. Okay. It's not my vibe. Mm -hmm. I don't love it. Also, when I bought that, it was like it looked exactly like the one Pete Thorne was playing mm -hmm. on his channel, and he was blowing up. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and so it can be like that. You're like, yeah. whoa, yeah. you know? So yeah. anyway, go ahead. Yeah, it's not my it's not my favorite. Yeah, um, I'm at a seven on that. I, I the Sir makes it. I mean, Sirs just play great. Um, and like you said, like uh, all Sirs, it's baseline. It's not going to go below a five for sure. You yeah. know, um, and I really do like the that guitar helps me understand why people like Super Strat so much with the, the humbucker and the mm. bridge. I really get it. I mean, when you go to that position, it's it's strong and it feels yeah. like more usable than a. Yeah. strap bridge you know i do like the yeah i do like the, the trim system is it's, great it's it has all of the right ingredients yeah i think for me it's just i don't connect with it yeah it's not an eight or nine or ten for me just because uh yeah it's not really like a strat like goldie you know you gotta leave room for like good strats yeah goldie is unlike anything yeah. no. guys brand new classic s's right now are thirty two hundred dollars oh, the new standard price on sirs are 32 and all like the eddie's guitars like that pink one was an eddie's exclusive yeah, yeah. you know eddie mm. orders the eddie's uh guitars or yeah, yeah. those are all four nine 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 they're all five grand Dang. like like literally all those jam pros that have the baked maple I literally, i'm sorry i can't wrap my head it's around unbelievable. spending that much money on a guitar mm. the s vintage Plus is 35 tax. You're talking to a guy who buys mostly guitars that cost less than five hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, well, it's, that's five hundred dollars in tax. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But I dude, literally can't wrap my head around. I, I think, <laughs> and, and I think the deal is this: is I, I don't know, um, you know, I don't know John personally and stuff, but um, this is a successful company. It's been a huge. Oh, it, yeah. It's it's yeah. been probably the most sex successful guitar company by far of a guy coming out of Fender. Nobody, a bunch of people have come out of Fender mm. and mm. made their own guitar companies. Nobody has done what John Sir has done. Yeah. Well, um, and people are buying them. So, or GNL? <laughs> no, not <laughs> even. They're saying, well, they're selling well, way more than GNL these oh, days. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe not the imports. I don't know what GNL is yeah. doing, like through Sweetwater or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but John Sir, you know, ran the custom shop, went on and started his own company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's been a million people who have done that. So many of the master builders end up starting their own company and mm. but they just stay small and stay you know yeah. john's son is in the business he's he i think has done a lot with the amps mm. i think he was a big part of the ir loader and yeah. stuff Pedals too. Yeah. you know they're incredible um but i think this is just what we're seeing is they probably raise their price to this and they're probably finally actually catching up with the inflation we've seen right Meaning, probably all last year <laughs> they were absorbing a bunch of these material costs going up right and probably they were just keeping the dealer costs the same and now this is where they have to get it which by the way on in the economic side that's exactly what happens with gas it's usually that gas starts oil starts going down and consumers go why is gas still going up and it's like because right. we actually haven't absorbed the full gas right. run up at first you know right. there's this sort of delay so i think what we're seeing now is for them to run a company for them to pay people to hand make the guitars in southern california mm -hmm. which operates like the custom shop that you know every sir is built like a team built custom mm -hmm. shop fender mm -hmm. so the build sheet looks the same it's all it's cnc's of course but mm -hmm. people are you know they're doing them mm -hmm. and the only guitars that get like you know, John made this, or one guy made this. Are mm. those uh, the the less Paul Les style Pauls, things yeah. they have? Aura, right? the aura, yeah, yeah, aura, yeah, whatever. I think oh, this yeah. is just what you have to charge I at this about at that this one. point. And we've said it all day. I mean, they're incredible and consistent. The most yeah. consistent totally. guitars I've played. Dude, yeah. the yeah. moderns are all four grand. Like, well, that's crazy. Know. All right, Ruby, we're getting close, you guys. But wait, let me just point something out. Okay. Right now, 
is probably what's crazy is kind of like how much they have to charge. Mm -hmm. This is why I think this is not really sustainable. This guitar brand has never been the type of guitar brand like Sirs have. It's never been the type of guitar brand that a brand new that that used guitars were half as much as new guitars mm. because they're so good. And you know that if people didn't trash them, they stay good for a long time. Right now, I can the cheapest Sir I can find uh, is about two grand mm. um, of any kind of any kind. Uh, there's Erasmus for eleven hundred. Damn. Um, and what, color, what color is it? It's, uh, it's, it's, oh my God, Suze, it's scalloped and natural. This is your most hated guitar. <laughs> if we painted the what headstock. What are the freaking odds? <laughs> we literally just said. I'm a little bit creeped out right now. It's scalloped and natural, <laughs> and it looks like that. A modern body, you can see the wood. If we paint the headstock. <laughs> well, my birthday is coming up, you guys. <laughs> hey, fun fact. Do you know why it's called Rasmus? Oh, you know what? It says right here, and I actually had it wrong. I was going to say that Rasmus was uh, John's wife's maiden name because that's what Jim Marshall, when he started Park Amps, he had named his own company Marshall. Mm. And he when, so when he started making amps under a different name, he used his wife's maiden name, which was Park. Oh, so he did. Yeah. This actually is uh, the name Rasmus was derived from. Mm. The name Rasmus <laughs> was derived from. From, <laughs> One day we'll from uh, John Sir's real Danish family name, Rasmussen. Hmm. Um, so we're so close. We're, we're so, so close. close. We got to continue. We got to finish, finish sound. it out. They can, they can see the photo, um, yeah. the photo of these guitars. Yeah. Uh, we're on the, uh, Ruby, the, Ruby, Ruby is a 72 Les Paul that never was Les Paul special. This is like if they had made it better mm -hmm. and someone did this, I saw this on reverb. I had to buy it cause it's like a one of one, uh, Seven, six, six. Hmm. I say six. I was gonna say five. Yeah, I'm also a five. Yeah, I like it, but nothing stands out about it. Right. We're not shocked that it didn't catch on. It's not terrible. You gotta no. go four, three, two. Not that. No, it's mm -hmm. not good. It's not. It's that. cool. Yeah. It's 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 old. It's refinished. Someone right. put the old pickups in it. Mm -hmm. Took a lot of. They, I do like that the neck pickup says get. Or do they both? They say they both, Gibson they both say on it. it. I like mm -hmm. that. And the neck it's says touch. Ruby. Someone had that made. And put it on there to match. Oh yeah, like a lot of love went in that. A lot guitar. of love. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, the headstock cover, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the little truss rod cover. Yeah. All right, now, John, your favorite guitar of the bunch, which doesn't actually belong to me. It's the first guitar that we're looking at that does oh, not yeah. belong to me. Oh, it's not even yours. Mm. This guitar does not belong to me. Nineteen it, of twenty. Yeah, it belongs. It belongs to um, nineteen of twenty. Belong to me. It belongs to Mr. Revere, Mr. Matt Revere. Uh, who is a very uh, 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 talented and successful guitar player here in Nashville. He's been on the channel, and uh, he plays all the fast stuff. Mm. He was given this guitar by Sir. I, I'm uh, From the story I heard, he was playing it. They said, yeah, Matt, so we can get you any guitar you want. You know, we, you're, you're like endorsed. And he said, cool, can I have this one? And they were like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I really shoot for the moon here, Matt. <laughs> is, at the time, it was the cheapest model they had. I think it mm. still is. It's just the black, flat, mm. modern, like, yeah. you know, it's the two yeah. pickup version. Mm. Uh, doesn't have the Floyd. It's got the regular, you know, go to 510. Mm. And then um, uh, the story I heard is uh, uh, he eventually got a different guitar kind of that more matched the gig he was playing with mm. somewhat like a Strat. Mm -hmm. and 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 that one's like kind of hardy rocky mm -hmm. so it's lived here for a long time so that he kind of just left it here and yeah. it's been yeah. here for a long time and you love it uh, so i'm gonna say sorry i gotta i was i was uh, i was i forgot i gotta rate it uh i'm gonna rate that guitar six a six hmm. it's not my favorite no it's not your favorite initially i didn't like this guitar mm -hmm. because the neck is very thin it's unique it's it's maybe one of the thinnest mm -hmm, necks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but man, I freaking love this guitar. It's like a nine for me. Right. Really? It's so good. It's really so good. Wow. Yeah. I'm super torn on this one because it says sir on the headstock and that means I like it. But <laughs> right. then I play it and I want to put it down immediately. <laughs> right. How could they have gotten it so wrong? Yeah. Four? Four. 
Oh. It doesn't fit my thing at all, mm-hmm. and I don't enjoy playing it. But I can, I can attest to that it it plays nice and is a quality instrument. It's just again, it's <laughs> nailing something that's so far outside my yeah. wheelhouse. I love it. I love it. This has been Guitar Friends. <clears throat> uh, we uh, we did all this stuff. One. Yeah, good one. And uh, we're gonna end it right here because I'm gonna try and do one more like uh, thirty minute episode before mm-hmm. everybody has to leave. We're about to leave for Christmas, and uh, mm. but we gotta predict what's coming in the modeling world. For sure. Ooh. And so uh, let's do it. John, my name is HW. Mm. <laughs> Forgot for a second. My name is sounding off. My name is John too. I'm the Suze. Later. <laughs>